Yeah, there's going to be a lot of people pissed off. Or should I say there must be a lot of people pissed off every time they see any form of any type of interracial couple. Like, what? That's a lot of displaced, misplaced, whatever word you want to use type of evil and hatred. Even though I know this has been going on in the world for years, decades, centuries almost. But... I don't understand how and call me like crazy or whatever. I But I don't understand how can you stop being friends with somebody once you find out who they dating and what that person look like. Two, how you can look at somebody and just judge them based on how they look on the outside. Now, I have my days where certain people bother me just looking at them is because i'm the type of person i pick up on people's energy i pick up on people's spirit the aura around them like i think i consider myself as an empath mm-hmm. if your energy or you give off bad vibes it don't matter to me what you look like what you t- sound like none of that if you give off bad vibes I don't care. I'd just rather not be around you, rather not be with you. I distance myself from you. Because, and then too, the way I was raised, I wasn't raised to hate people because of something they can't change, because of the way they was born, because of the way they look, because of how they talk. That's just not the way I was raised. And that wouldn't, and if I portrayed myself like that, that would make me less of a person and show the world and my mama that. Nothing she put instilled in me came out that way. I know my in myself that I wasn't raised like that. That I wasn't raised to be evil and full of hate because of towards someone because of how they look, because of how they talk, because of how they walk, because of how they carry themselves. My thing, the only like I said, the only thing that I wouldn't talk to somebody. The only reason. I will have any kind of like ill will towards somebody because of something they did to me, something they said to me, the vibes that they give off or the bad energy or juju or whatever have you that they got coming from them, coming off of them or around them. That's it. Other than that, I was, I don't mind speaking to you. I don't mind carrying a conversation with you. I don't mind sitting around you just as long as you ain't got nothing bad or ill will or bad intentions or bad vibes or anything coming from you other than that we good we can chill we can talk we can i'll sit with you and everything hell i I don't i have conversated with so many people of different races different colors different religions different backgrounds different facial structures everything what's on the outside to me this is just to me what's on the outside doesn't make up what's on the inside you can be the prettiest person in the world and have an evil, hate-filled soul or spirit. You can be the ugliest person in the world and be nice. Be the sweetest person there is. To me, to me, it's all about what's in the inside. What's on the inside? How do you treat people? Your conversation skills, your conversation, not conversation skills, but your conversation, the type of conversation you have, your personality how you approach people, the way you speak to people. Now, if you got a ghetto way of talking, that's just your way of talking. I don't care if you talk proper, that's your way of talking. There's nothing I can do about that. And why would I want to change a person way of talking or way of looking or way of dressing or hot, whatever have you, because... They outside don't match their inside. To me, I don't care what you look like on the outside. You could be tatted from your scalp all the way down to under your feet. And be the sweetest person in the world. You can look mean and be mugging people all the time. But still be somehow manage to be the nicest person in the world. Be the nicest person. That could be that'll be the same type of person. Like my mama always told me, she say, 
Be careful how you treat people because the same person you treat like shit or she didn't really say it like that, but that's the way I'm putting it in my words, paraphrasing or whatever. But the same person you treat badly, you're going to end up needing that same person. Be careful who you step on because on your way back down, that same person you stepped on, you're going to need them on your way up. Not to be to for a person to be that evil and full of hatred. They have to have something in them that just ain't sitting right. Some kind of issues that they ain't worked out. And they projecting all that off on other people. And like I say, I'm not perfect. I am very far from perfect. The only, and I also say the only reason why I would treat somebody badly is because of what they done to me. What they said to me. How they treated me and all that extra stuff. But I mean, it is what it is. And like I say, you can't, in a pretty my um, whatever I said earlier, you can't pick somebody for another person or dislike another person that a friend of yours, a family member, or what have you is dating, whoever is dating, because that person that they dating, you're not attracted to that person or that person don't match up with you. Because the reason why they don't match up with you is because that person is not for you. And like I say, your love life, your life period, you get to pick and choose who you want in your life, around you, around your kids, or around whatever having to do with you. You don't have to pick or to be good with one person just because they, oh, I don't like that person because they were that person. I picked this person for you. No. Well, I don't like your dude because he don't, he ain't black. He ain't white. He ain't. Asian, he ain't this, he ain't that. He look like the bottom of a shoe. What the fuck? That's not for you to do. And that person obviously likes the other person because they like that other person. For them, they match in other ways. Why does somebody else's significant other and what they look like bother you so much and your spirit so much to where you hate that person? But you're not dating that person. You're not around that person 24-7. That type of mentality right there is what's going to keep people from around you. That's what's going to make people stop dealing with you. People going to start backing off on just talking to you, period. Because of the type of person you are. Because of how you letting things just... How you treating people. I know for me, I'm not... No. I'm not the type of person. Like I said... I don't know, I already spoke on this many a times before. I'm not I'm not the type of person that's gonna be that's gonna be like, okay, well I don't like you because of how you, I can't talk to you no more because of how your husband looks. Or I can't talk to you no more because of your wife is a different race. What? To me, that's bullshit. To me, if you're a good person and we get along good, I can care less with who you date. I can care less what your husband look like, what your wife look like. I can care. And not that I would be entertaining random dude married me in any way, but I can care. I'm just trying to make a point. I could care less what your significant other look like. Should have just left it at that. I can care less what your significant other look like. Because for me, and this is just me and my opinion, what that person looks like that's for you that's you they call it your spouse your significant other for a reason because it's yours if he don't belong to nobody else she don't belong to nobody else shouldn't belong to nobody else because that's your significant other why does it matter to the next person what your spouse look like and i'm gonna just leave it at that 